Alright, so I made a thing. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not a good editor. If you want to find a good editor who makes actually good tutorials, you should subscribe to PJ. His um, YouTube link is going to be in the description. He makes a lot better tutorials than I could ever make. And he seems to know a lot more than I do, but I just do whatever, you know, I don't really know. But anyways, I made a radial wipe, yeah? And DaVinci Resolve is a program made for compositing. That's like the main function of it. If you go to the website page, the only thing it's going to talk about is its compositing. I mean, they're, they're, it'll talk about like how it can do motion graphics as well, but that's kind of a lie. <laughs> um, it's not, I mean, it's not really, but it, it's kind of like, it's a bit scuffed. But, you know, it's slow progress, so... Anyways, I made a little radial wipe transition. I use this, uh, I use some 3D stuff, but in general, it's like the only way to really accomplish it. But I put it in a macro that anyone could use. So, uh, you have your general controls. You have the frame width and height, which you want to have be at least bigger than your canvas resolution, minus 460 by 702, so it doesn't really matter that much. And if it's smaller, like let's say the height was like not the height, like the width was smaller. There's like like random bugs that could happen. It's it's not fun to deal with. So in general, just keep it bigger. That, that's really all you need to know. Um, auto res, if you want, it just basically locks it at 1920 by 1080 or whatever your monitor is. I don't really know. Uh, motion blur settings, you know when you animate it. And we have X and Y, which if you want to, you can use it. I don't really think it's like that useful, considering that most people don't use, or at least in a regular workflow most people wouldn't use the thing in here because they want to move the whole media inside of it as well so they would just put a transform node after but the option is there if you want to have it so go for it there is the angle offset which we'll cover that later then you have the size which is the main thing that you want to i guess mess around with the size is you know changes size <laughs> um the detail because this is a 3d technically it's just a sphere that's just like completed or whatever the detail is the subdivisions of the sides of the sphere so you can't really tell right now because there's a hundred subdivisions but by default it's 20 you know you can see like that but you, know, you can make it low if you want I don't, really, I don't really know but usually just keep it max i don't know it depends on how good your computer can do stuff but if it can just put it out 100 or higher and here we have the angle which is the start and the end which does uh, exactly what a radial wipe does you know, there's, there's there's not much else to explain about it. It just it just it just doesn't. <laughs> you know, I can't like try and make it sound like it's super amazing or anything. Um, angle offset does exactly what it does. It does an angle offset. Um, I don't know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> 